week to Alive by Whitney Simmons app that I am reviewing. Honestly, really enjoying the week so far. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So it is now week two of the Alive by Whitney Simmons app that I am reviewing. So I had done week one last week, last Monday. I gave all of the details, exactly what the app was about. It is time based, circuit based, how the layout is, exactly what the app looks like and what to expect. So if you haven't seen that video, you might wanna go and check that out first. I also done a body update and shared my weight and how I look now because I have gained two and a half pounds and the little mini goal I've got for myself is by the end of the four weeks I want to lose that two and a half pounds that I've gained during lockdown being at home not as active as I usually am I know it's not all about the scales I said this in week one and I'm not expecting to look dramatically different in four weeks but for me I just want to lose them two and a half pounds so hopefully I can do in this four week series hopefully that is going to happen so in this video I'm going to be showing you um, a couple of workouts from the guide still giving you my thoughts and review of the app and how I'm getting on with it but I'm also going to show you a bit more about my week so what I'm eating to stay on track my thoughts and anything that I might have missed in week one any details and thoughts about the guide as I'm going on I'm going to give you updates during the week so yeah these videos are going to be every Monday so if you're interested in keeping up with me then make sure to like and subscribe so I'm about to start this workout and I'll record it and insert that next have this feeling, feeling so this workout is 40 minutes timed base and the necessary equipment is dumbbells only oh my God, cause you're in my space and now I'm so this workout has two circuits with six exercises each exercise in a circuit will be repeated two times. After completing all six exercises in a circuit twice, you then move on to the next circuit. Every exercise that you are seeing, I first do it for 45 seconds, have a small rest and then I do it for 20 seconds and then move on to the following exercise. This was the last exercise in circuit one, I repeated all of that again and then I moved on to the next circuit which you'll see next. in circuit number two so I repeated all of that again and it's the end of the workout workout done really good calories burn took me 45 minutes I really enjoyed it I have to say I was very iffy with doing full body every single day like I said on week one it's not upper body lower body it's literally full body every day but I'm actually really enjoying it and like I said before, how the timer just is a rolling timer. It times the whole workout, each exercise and the rest time. It just keeps going. I like that because you can, you don't need to touch your phone. You don't need to think about anything. It's just all timed there. So yeah, I am actually really enjoying how the app is and how it's going so far. Definitely need a shower right now and then I'll catch up with you later. 
so here is my lunch just jacket potato with some chicken that was left over and tender stem broccoli i always try to cook um, my meals myself at home obviously all fresh ingredients whenever i can so i'm just about to cook some dinner and also prep some extra food just to keep in the fridge so i don't snack on anything unhealthy basically dinner tonight i'm doing a chili so all of the spices garlic pepper and onions we're having some oven chips because i ran out of potatoes that is so annoying and i'm gonna have some rice i'm gonna prep extra rice to keep in the fridge oh, okay. just having some prepped rice in the fridge or some cooked chicken and stuff like that like though that is the things that always keeps me on track because it's when i don't have anything quick to hand to just grab out the fridge then i want to start snacking on crisps and things so really really want to focus on cooking everything fresh myself and keeping on track with like food prep and stuff like that morning so it is tuesday morning today i've just cooked some breakfast i've got avocado with bagels i always put a bit of pepper and chili flakes and it's so good so today on the alive app i've got have a look so obviously i've said before you can't swap around the days Look, I can't change the workout that's planned for me today. I have to do this workout, which doesn't bother me because, you know, I'm going to work out every day anyway, so I might as well just do what the app says. It's full body cardio, so no equipment, all body weight exercises. Yeah, I think I'm going to show you one of these workouts. The next one of these is on Thursday, so I think I'm going to record that workout and put it into this video but first it's time for breakfast <laughs> hey everyone so it is thursday today it's workout number three of the week i am doing the full body strength day so it's band and dumbbells which i've got ready now just use the bnd band in the medium which is it medium medium strength yeah and i've got these dumbbells i have got extra weights but i find that i can use this for upper and lower so i'll just keep the same weight for it it's just so much easier than constantly changing weights during the workout because i have to keep pausing it which is really annoying so i just keep the same weight throughout the workout honestly really enjoying the week so far i am even though it's completely different than what i'm used to as in full body every day i just feel like i'm actually you know i'm not neglecting no muscles i'm just yeah i'm just enjoying it basically but for today's workout i'll just quickly show you what it is 32 minutes and i'll just show you the first circuit So some of these exercises I've not done at all yet, like these ones. And the sumo RDLs, haven't done them either. So yeah, looks really good. Friday today I'm just about to start my workout it's kind of late it's almost one o'clock my fridge freezer broke which is so annoying we've had to throw all of the food away defrost it clean it everything but the only good thing at least we've kind of cleared everything out got rid of all the stuff that we don't even eat and it's just unnecessary so I'm gonna go shopping buy everything that we need um, I'll probably show you what we get when we get back from shopping but obviously first it's full body cardio today it's friday i think i've already said that so 25 minutes 
so some of these exercises I have not done yet at all in the app so it's good that there's different exercises it's switching things up keeping it a little bit more exciting and interesting which I definitely like and I like how you get the like 25 seconds rest in between each exercise and obviously it go down to like 20 seconds and 15 seconds it's not like too much you know sometimes when you're doing a hit circuit and there is zero rest or five seconds rest in between the exercises you just it's at, it's just too hard like you are dying you have not got that energy i just find that it's just the perfect amount of rest to kind of re re-energize and get ready for your next exercise so definitely do like that about this guide um so yeah let's stop talking and get into the workout First of all, this video is sped up. So this workout is a circuit of 10 exercises and you repeat them 10 exercises for three rounds. Uh, what makes it harder is in between each circuit, the rest period gets shorter and shorter. So on round one, you get 25 seconds for rest in between each exercise. Then by the third round, you only get 15 seconds rest in between each exercise. So it does get more intense as the workout goes on. Thought I would have grown uh -huh. off the beaten track to become a better man, sinking in the sand. Oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, but with sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love when everything's said and done? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? So I had a really good workout and I'm just having this for lunch. Just these tuna fusions, chilli and garlic and some rice cakes with a little drizzle of some mayonnaise because it's a little bit dry. So we've been shopping, literally got everything that we needed. This is, pr this is pretty much what I get every single week. So I'm going to show you everything I've got. So these are for my daughter, um, every now and again I'll have one. So we've got all the fruits, blueberries, uh, strawberries, bananas. So we've got the veg, broccoli, asparagus, avocados, spring onions, salad somewhere, salad. I like to snack on things with salsa as a little low calorie snack. Always get these noodles to cook stir fries, potatoes, just some stuff. Got bread, we are big bagel people, so got two bagels, eggs. These are for my daughter and these are absolutely love as a little treat. They're not even that bad, 155 calories and they are amazing. So for meat, we always get chicken fillets, whole chicken, 5% fat lean, beef, mince, salmon, haddock fillets, always get two prawns, I like to do prawn stir fry and prawn paella. The wraps because today we are going to be doing fajitas for our dinner and baby potatoes for garlic, baby potatoes to go with that. Always get chopped tomatoes as you always need them for like cooking lots of recipes. Iced lattes always have and just to put in my squash every single day. This is my daughter, she's obsessed with pizza and these and we always just get some frozen veg for when we can't really be bothered to cook the fresh veg and other and chunky chips because these are nice when you, when I can't be bothered to cook actual chips with potatoes so it's just like a backup. So that is basically everything. So it is the end of week two. I'm just going to give a quick overview of the week, how I got on and any differences I've noticed to week one. So all the workouts are different, none of them are repeated which is good. There are some new exercises in week two that wasn't in week one. For example, off the top of my head, the dumbbell drag curls and 
the dumbbell underhand press day wasn't on week one so I noticed that was different so the layout of the workouts are always different what I mean by that is so sometimes the full body cardio day which is your hit day that can be 10 exercises repeated three times and as you do the rounds the rest time gets shorter and shorter and then in other full body cardio days it can be three different circuits, all the circuits are different, repeated three times. So it's not always the same layout for every workout. So that is good, it keeps it kind of fun and interesting. So I definitely like that. So you can see an overview of the whole guide, which I had no clue until I looked. I was scrolling through the app, looking for all the workouts and it says Alive Inside or something like that, I'll show you here and you can see every single day every single workout with all the details so i did not notice that until this week but at least i know now so i am loving the app so far i'm really enjoying this workout guide i kind of didn't think i would but i actually am i'm liking the time as well how it ranges from around 20 minutes to 60 minutes it's like a good time the weighted workouts are usually around 40, 45 minutes and the HIIT workouts are usually 25 to 30 minutes which I think is perfect. I really love the timing on all of the workouts. So I have decided to start tracking my macros, calories, everything like that. Um, I'm going to go a lot more in detail about my personal macros and everything I'm eating more in next week's video so I'll explain all of that then um, because I do kind of get questions about that. So as for the whole losing a couple of pound which is my mini little goal for the end of the four weeks I feel I haven't weighed myself. I have been eating good but I feel like I can definitely do better so that is the reason why I want to start tracking again just to keep myself more accountable. So that is everything for today's video. I think I've covered everything. If I haven't, please leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next week on Monday for week three.